everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video this morning i hope that you're doing well and we're going to be talking about what is happening across the atlantic with focus being in the vicinity of the caribbean and uh, there is a front which is going to be inducing quite a bit of rainfall across some areas so we're going to get straight into that in this update but looking out there on a whole we're not seeing anything too significant happening for the caribbean itself uh, for most islands, maybe just some showers moving through, some heavy downpours at times. And then out in the Atlantic, those fronts which have moved out of the U.S., they continue across the Atlantic toward the east. And along the intertropical convergence zone, we're definitely seeing some convection there. That is where the trade winds of the north and south meet. And when they do, we can see a lot of activity, shower and thunderstorm activity developing along it. Let's zoom into the Caribbean here. We're looking at the basin. A couple of cloud patches moving through a bit of convection, also noted across some areas. So as we're going to be heading through today, a lot of areas may experience some passing showers at the most, but nothing significant is expected across the Caribbean islands as we head through today. And as I mentioned, there is a front in the Gulf of Mexico. It's a stationary front, and as suggested by the name, it's not moving out any longer. It's just stalling within that area. What it is doing is helping to produce a lot of heavy rainfall along portions of Central America, especially for Mexico, but other areas such as Belize and even Guatemala could experience quite a bit of rainfall activity as a result of that front. And then behind that boundary is a mass of cool, dry air. This is bringing very cold temperatures to portions of the eastern U.S. So here we can see it being reflected on this temperature map from the GFS model. So there we can see those blues going to those purples indicate those below average temperatures. And we can see on the key that we're going down to uh, those purple shades up to 12 degrees below normal. So very cool temperatures, very chilly right now across portions of the U.S. as these fronts form and make their way out. Now, in terms of the formation of the fronts, what happens is that uh, when there is this mass of cool, dry air coming from Canada, it meets the warm, moist, tropical air. And because warm air is uh, less dense than cool air, what happens is that it rises above that mass of cool air. And as a result of it rising and increasing in altitude, that results in condensation taking place, those clouds forming, and eventually we get these thunderstorms, all this rainfall activity developing along the frontal boundary. So that is what is happening right now in the Gulf of Mexico. But again, cooler temperatures across much of the eastern U.S., even dipping down to the northern Bahamas. And as we head deeper into winter, especially going toward January and February, these masses of cool, dry air may dip a bit further south and actually uh, make their way into the Caribbean. So these fronts, they may eventually make their way further uh, to the southeast and as a result could induce cooler temperatures as well as that inclement weather across portions of the northern Caribbean. So we're going to be taking a look at the rainfall forecast for today. Here we are looking at it and as the map becomes more colorful with those shades of oranges, reds, and those burgundies and purples, a lot more rainfall activities expected. So as we head closer toward that pink shade, uh, up to around three or four inches of rainfall expected. So this is the forecast through to the very, very early morning hours of tomorrow. And we can see that across Northern South America, we're seeing most of those colorful patches for Colombia. And right now there is some convection offshore developing. So quite a bit of rainfall activity is possible there, similar to for Panama and sections of Costa Rica, but going toward Venezuela and the Guyanas, there may be some showers popping up and moving through some thunderstorms as well, especially later this afternoon. And then as we head to Trinidad, Tobago, and pretty much through the Lesser Antilles, there could be some patches of clouds moving in, bring in with them some rainfall activity. That has been the case for sections of Tobago. I have been watching the uh, satellites have been watching the radar as well, so there has been some showers moving through. ABC Islands, much is not happening. And for the northern leeward islands, such as Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Barthelme, Antica, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, Ceiba, St. Eustatius, even going toward the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico and most of Hispaniola, a whole lot is not expected. Similar stories we can see for the southern Bahamas as well as the Turks and Caicos Islands. Some showers likely to be moving through parts of Jamaica, Cuba, and uh, the Bahamas as well, especially the central Bahamas and some of the southern islands. 
but for the Cayman Islands, much is not expected today. As we head over into Central America, there we can see that across portions of Nicaragua, especially Northeast Nicaragua, Northern Honduras, there may be quite a bit of rainfall activity. El Salvador, not a whole lot expected. Let's zoom in closer here. Here we can see it. And we're seeing some of those purple and pink shadings. But fortunately, the bulk of that heavy rain could remain offshore but coastal areas along the gulf coast of mexico going into the yucatan which includes belize and parts of guatemala likely to experience quite a bit of rainfall through today there may even be some flooding across some areas if there's a lot of heavy rainfall uh and that water is just accumulating it's not escaping anywhere so that can trigger flooding guys so please stay safe if you're to be affected by this or if you're being affected by any rainfall heavy rainfall event for that matter so that is what is expected today as it relates to rainfall and again uh, there are those cooler temperatures across much of the eastern united states even extended down into parts of the northern bahamas and also into portions of northeast mexico so that is what is going on that is what is expected for today and i hope you found this video to be quite informative however if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weather wise